Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and in this video, I am going to be talking about my departure from covering Raid Shadow Legends on a consistent basis here on the channel and saying thank you to all of you in a proper, dedicated video. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so first of all, I did do a collaboration that went live yesterday with my good friend Hell Hades over on his channel. So if you'd like to see me and him talking about the landscape of me shifting on from Raid Shadow Legends after five years, that full discussion will be linked down below. But yeah, anyway, over the last five years, we got up to like 81,000 subscribers here on the channel. So I definitely didn't want to just move on from covering Raid Shadow Legends without officially thanking all of you and just kind of wrapping up how the journey has been the last five years. And first of all, coming from doing content creation for like 15, 16 years, having a channel with like 81,000 subscribers is, is mind blowing. I remember doing YouTube like literally back in 2010 and thinking that it was crazy if someone had like 500 subscribers. And yeah, I mean, 2000 videos, it's been an insane journey here on the channel and all of you have been amazing supporting me throughout the years which enabled me to do a lot of really cool things a lot of exciting opportunities like going to twitchcon to perform for rage of the legends there in their official booth and get to meet other creators or heading out to las vegas to meet people like hell hades and, and the, the crew over there at fate that i'm working with now opened up an opportunity for me to take a position at a job there and rage Shadow legends and the rage Shadow legends community is what gave me the experience necessary to be able to move into a role like that over at fateless so i can't thank you all enough because of you being here and subscribing and watching the videos and interacting with me and helping me learn is why those doors are open to me currently but yeah, just to kind of include you on the thought process, um, you know, and for those of you that have been watching my content consistently, this probably doesn't come as a surprise to you because I've been kind of struggling within the last few months, within the last six months or so to keep up with the daily uploads and keep up with kind of the pulse of the Rage Shadow Legends community like I used to be able to back when I was doing two videos a day and streaming four hours a day. I was really entrenched in the community and there was endless content I could produce and I always knew everything going on and the last six months or so that's really been a struggle for me since moving on to other roles and just kind of how things have been evolving around trying to keep up with my main channel. So what I was doing was trying to hold on and trying to do what I could without ripping the band-aid off and just moving on but it's just become more and more apparent to me that that's the decision to make because if I'm gonna do something, I don't wanna do it half ass If I'm gonna be covering a game, if I'm gonna be part of a community, I want to take that seriously and I wanna make sure I can bring value. I don't wanna just like do a lazy clickbait and farm whatever money I can off of covering a game like Rage Shadow Legends. I wanna actually bring something to the community and that is kind of the whole reason that I got into covering Raid is back in the day, I'm sorting by my oldest videos here. Uh, back in the day, when I started playing Raid, I was looking for content and there was literally nothing out there. There was no tier list, there was no beginner guides or anything like that. So what I thought to myself was, okay, I've got some experience in gaming. Why don't I take this game seriously and do all the calculations and do all the spreadsheets and then I can try to forward that knowledge onto other people who are new and they're looking for some content to help them in beginning their journey. And that was kind of the whole thought process there when I got started covering Raid. But Actually, the original concept of this channel, it's like the fifth channel I've made over the years. I was doing StarCraft 1 and StarCraft 2 and Diablo 3 and all sorts of different stuff throughout starting YouTube since back in way in 2008. But anyway, the first video that you see here is Raid Shadow Legends review slash should you play. That's the first video I published on this channel. And originally when I got into creating this channel, the thought process was that's going to be every video I do. I'm going to play a mobile game for like three or four days and then rank all of my thoughts on that game. I'm going to grade it in like graphics and developer support and how fun it is and, and the gameplay mechanics and everything kind of involved with the game. So the first video I did on this channel was Rage Shadow Legends, which was the first game that I thought about doing that for because back then it was a brand new mobile RPG. So I thought it would be a fun one to review here on the channel. But then I found myself enjoying Rage of the Legends and logging in just naturally, even without thinking about content to review it. And I was like, wait a minute, there's no content for this game out there yet. And lots of people are looking for that content. So there's a very clear demand that needs to be filled 
why don't I just go ahead and start covering this game? And then I did, and it went really well. It was the content that finally got traction for me in the YouTube space and was actually getting like 10, 20, 30,000 views a video, which back in the day, I was used to getting maybe one or 2,000 views a video. Every now and then I would have like a Diablo 3 video really pop off and get 100,000 views or something, but it was very rare. My normal videos were never anything close to what I was getting covering Raid in the early days back when I first made the channel. So I was like, okay, I think it's time to roll with this. And then I went to my Diablo channel and I made a video basically retiring from Diablo 3. And I was like, hey, there's a new game that is going really well for me. And I've got an opportunity to be one of the leaders in the community. So I'm going to dive in and I'm going to roll with that. And I'm going to focus on being a full-time Rage Shadow Legends creator. And it's really funny to look back and see the evolution of things and how the like YouTube landscape has changed over the years. Like, like look at these just trash thumbnails and, and and trash titles they're not interesting or anything it, it's funny how the algorithms have caused everybody to adapt like it just says you know raid shadow legends review whereas today a title on youtube for that video would be like why raid shadow legends is the best game ever or why you have to try this game immediately it will change your life you know like the algorithms and the clickbait have really evolved into what the titling and the thumbnailing of gaming content would look like compared to what it was five years ago but you can see kind of the evolution of my thumbnails they went from literally just like a screenshot of what i was doing and then eventually i had like a like a standardized template where i used the raid shadow legends artwork and then i just put text of what i was doing and then i had a guy dm me um offering to do my thumbnails for me i'll see if i can scroll down here and he ended up becoming a really good friend and he was really good at what he does uh when was that there's a very clear difference in my thumbnails when that happens we'll, we'll see if we can find when i got the uh the thumbnail addition to my channel it's going to be coming up any point here and it's funny because as I scroll down, you can see I did start slowly getting better at doing the thumbnails. They start to look a little bit more appealing, but nothing like when I when I got a, a, like a dedicated graphics guy to help me out with thumbnails. Yep, and there it is. Yeah, so uh, I think this must have been the first one. Yeah, 1,200 ancient shards uh, right there. As you can tell by the very different text theme and the background that actually looks like it's appealing, you get like the summoning and, and, and the shard going off. And then you can see the thumbnails really ramped up in quality after that point. The trivia contest was a blast. I absolutely loved doing that. And then at this point, I was actually kind of stepping into being a content creator that might kind of know what they're doing and have good thumbnails and producing better content, having like a green screen and my whole PC setup. And this was, was when I kind of like ramped up into probably the, the phase of covering raid where I was most relevant and bringing the most to the community in terms of like knowledge and production and thumbnails and quality of the channel and the consistency here of content flowing out. And actually, the guy that reached out to me to do thumbnails and ended up being really good at it is actually going to be joining us in Fateless as well. Just recently, like last week, he ended up getting through the interview process and is actually going to be joining us on the Fateless project. So it's a small world. It's funny how everything works out. You know, I get a random DM from someone five years ago and they're like, hey, can I try out to, uh, to do your thumbnails? And I think I can maybe help you out here on your channel. And I'm like, yeah, let's see what you got. They end up being really good. We end up working together for years. And then I go to Fateless. And then I find out that he's going to be going to Fateless as well. Because after me and him started working together, he got to know other creators and got to know other people in the space. And then five years later, we both end up at Fateless. Me and the guy that was helping me with my thumbnails. He's going to be doing graphics and UI design for us on our game. But yeah, anyway, uh, to kind of put a bow on everything, I'm not necessarily retiring as a gamer and as a content creator. Like I'm playing a lot of AFK Journey right now. I'm always going to be trying out the new games that come out. There's always something like Warcraft Rumble or AFK Journey or something coming out. And you might get a random video here on the channel giving my thoughts on it or doing a review or doing a tier list or something because I am still a gamer. I'm still passionate about the whole space and the gaming community in general and i'm working as a game designer i don't want to become 
out of touch. I'm always going to be playing games. I'm always going to be trying to rank up on ladders. I'm going to be doing my thing until long, long, many years from now. So I still will probably upload content here on the channel. Just the the like daily flow and, and the Raid Shadow Legends content and, and kind of like the structure that I had for five years is going to be coming to a close and I'm not really going to be entrenching myself into knowing absolutely everything about the raid community anymore. Because at this point, I'm not really filling a demand anymore. The Rage Shadow Legends community is in an amazing place as far as content is concerned. You've got the, you know, the, the HH Gaming website. You've got the Artifact Optimizer. You've got amazing people like Hell Hades and other creators covering the news. You've got just so much endless good content out there. All sorts of calculators and spreadsheets and tier lists and, and all of the reasons that I came into the raid community to bring some of this stuff, it's all done now. It's all covered, it's all being done, and new players have an infinite amount of amazing creators to watch and amazing resources to help them on their journey. So yeah, it's been amazing, it's been fun, it's been a massive change to my life. I've gotten to do so many cool things and I've had opportunities in the future opened up to me because of the Rage Shadow Legends community. So I can't thank all of you enough. It was definitely worth a dedicated video wrapping everything up and make sure I thank you all properly for the support throughout the years. And if you want to stick around the channel, definitely feel free to. I'm sure like I'll always be like passively cognizant of what's going on in the Rage Shadow Legends community. Obviously, I work with Hell Hades and Sephira and Ash and some of the guys that cover Raid consistently. I work with them at Fateless on a daily basis. So I'm still gonna kind of be around. I'm gonna know what's going on. The only thing that's changing is my daily flow of covering Raid, but there still will probably be content here arriving on the channel, just covering other games and reviewing stuff and giving my take on things. It just won't be the consistent like daily, you know, morning video about talking about Raid or like talking about a new Raid fusion and stuff like that. It's gonna be a little bit of a shift in my workflow as I prioritize the development of our game over at Fateless and developing that game studio alongside with my journey as a content creator and it's going to be a big shift right now in that evolving from me covering Ray to doing some more other things. So thanks everybody I appreciate you and I'm very thankful for everything that I've gotten in support for the last five years. Have an amazing rest of your weekend and I will see you soon in the next video. Thanks. Peace.